Okay, joining me on the couch today are the guys from Ballpark Music. Thanks very much for, for joining me here today. Now, uh, let's go back to the start. How did Ballpark Music form? Uh, we formed when we were all at university in Brisbane. We all studied music there together, and, uh, and we've been together ever since. Yeah. That's a boring answer. My answer is that I met a guy in a dark alley, and he offered me a red and a blue pill. And he said, if you take the blue pill, you'll be in this band. If you take the red pill, you'll never know any of this happened. I took the red pill. That's it. Where did you come up with that? <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us about your first TP. I want to hear more from you, actually. <laughs> Yeah, the first EP, I woke up in this slimy sludge one day. I was naked and there were ropes hanging out of me. No. Okay, so that's the cut, Sam. <laughs> tell us about the first... Actually, Jen, let's hear from you. Yeah. Tell us about the first EP. Mm. Uh, well, we didn't really know each other then. I couldn't tell the difference between these two. They do actually look pretty similar. But they're identical. So we didn't know each other, all the songs, and just, like, would go to Sam's house or wherever and you know, play my bass part with Sam going, yeah, and the next bit's C, and the next bit's G, and we really had no idea what we were doing, and it was just, like, Sam had these songs, and we were like, oh, let's make a little city for our parents. That'd be cute. <laughs> and, um, and then we released it. We also lost most of them in a house fire, too. Yeah, it was a good day. True story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jen's house burnt shocked. down, and we, and we lost all the CDs we paid to get wow. made. Wow. Yeah, so. Mm. That was quite funny, really. <laughs> Yeah, it's mm. like, it basically funny. like you lose all your possessions and yeah. you sort of start your life from scratch. Yeah. Yep. It's a real hoot. Yeah, no, it was a great learning experience. We well, formed in 2008 and you released that, uh, that debut EP in uh, 2009 and the following year was pretty much the same. Um, you released your second EP, uh, Conquer the Town, Easy as Cake. What were the challenges that you guys faced in backing up the success of the first EP? Um, I think the second EP was a bit of a challenge because um, that was probably the first time in our lives where we were making something um, where there was like a little bit of expectation. It was only small because we were still a very small band. But um, yeah, that was a, a new experience for us to, to think, you know, oh, people enjoyed the first one and there's actually going to be people maybe waiting for the second one. Well, every band does have a different process in, in creating their music. And um, what, is the, what is the method that you guys use and, and has it changed? Sam does it. <laughs> Sam does it, so Sam. Yeah, He's everything. These are just actors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, essentially I've always written the songs or the bare bones of the song. A rough idea of um, an arrangement, but the arranging part, which is probably the most enjoyable part, um, is um, a collaborative effort. Um, especially on the first record because it was developed over, you know, our whole sort of first three years as a band. Have you, have you started writing a third album? We were just talking about this out the back before because, yeah, it's funny how um, like the band cycle that they're experiencing personally is a fair way removed from what the public experiences. You know, on the release date of a band's record, I can guarantee you that they've all listened it to death, like, yeah. <laughs> and they don't really ever need to hear it ever again, and they're definitely thinking about the next one. At the one. moment, I'm trying to make a conscious effort to not inspire Sam to write anything new. Mm -hmm. He's really easily inspired. Sam might be on guitar and he'll just start, you know, playing a little riff, you know, off the top of his head and I'll start playing along on the drums and then from there, a week later, he'll go, oh, dude, I've, I wrote this song and I'm like, no, <laughs> don't play along with him, just let him go. That makes me sound like I'm a naughty little kid, like, oh, are. he's really easily inspired, you know, keep stimulus away from him. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he's on to us, you know. Tell us about your next gig. That's um, the Caloundra Music Festival. Oh, yeah. Are yeah. you looking forward to coming up here and playing? Yes. I have to skydive. You have to skydive? <laughs> yeah. We need to put this in context a bit. It's yeah. like a promo oh, thing for Caloundra yeah, Music yeah. And someone gets to go with Paul, but they were like, you're going to skydive with someone who wins a competition. And I think we all heard the email first, and we were like, no, 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 no. Oh, dude, you're the only one left. <laughs> <laughs> Paul gets to jump out of a plane and we get to watch. We're running out of time, but, but I want to ask just five quick questions that I'm going to ask every band that comes on the show. So the first one, if ballpark music was an animal, what animal would it be? A dog. Next. A dog? Okay, <laughs> that's an interesting one. Um, but what, uh, what do you do outside of music? Watch uh, cricket. Watch sport. Okay, cool. Um, if you could play with any artist in any location, who would it be with and where? The, 
Quick oh, scene. Julian Casablancas in my bedroom. Blur, Hyde Park. Yeah, Sounds that's good. a good one. Actually, yeah, yeah. Blur, yeah. Hyde Park. Ben Folds <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> Who's the most underrated band in the industry? Uh, the Vasco era. Yeah, cool. Time. And uh, which, uh, who will be the breakout band of 2013? I'm going to say the Jungle Giants because we always support them and they're an awesome band, so check them out. There you go. You heard it. Uh, it's the Jungle Giants to look out for next year. We'll see you just after the break with some more songs from Ballpark Music. Music.